At the later this morning, an East Greenwich woman will learn her fate after pleading guilty to charges she defrauded friends and relatives of nearly $5 million. And as Target 12 reported last week, federal prosecutors are recommending more than a decade behind bars for Monique Brady. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie joining us now live outside of federal court in Providence where that sentence expected to be handed down later today. Alex, a memo that was filed last week says this request is above the recommended guidelines. Sorry, prosecutors say this is because of, quote, the insidious nature of Miss Brady's long-term fraud scheme. Her attorney, though, is asking for much less time behind bars and says that her client is determined to make up for what she's done. Today, 45-year-old Monique Brady will learn how much time she'll spend behind bars. Last July, the East Greenwich woman pleaded guilty to wire fraud, obstruction of justice, and aggravated identity theft. Prosecutors say she solicited investments for various renovation and cleanup projects at 171 properties. And Brady admitted 98 were for properties she did no work on whatsoever. In a sentencing memo filed last week, Assistant U.S. Attorney Lee Vilker says the government has identified 23 people who collectively lost $4.8 million to Brady. Prosecutors say victims never did any due diligence on Brady's claims because they had a close relationship with her. While federal prosecutors are looking for 121 months, or just over 10 years, Brady's attorney Joanne Daly is asking the court for three years in prison, followed by three years probation. Daly says Brady knows she has, quote, utterly betrayed the people who trusted her with her money, including her own family. Now, Brady has been behind bars since last year. Her sentencing begins today at 10 a.m. at federal court. Prosecutors asked the judge to prepare for a lengthy hearing because there are several people who said that they want to make victim impact statements later this morning. My colleague Tim White will be inside the courtroom. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.